People have been fascinated by the secrets of space and the beautiful things in the sky for thousands of years. Astronomy has been studied for as long as people have been interested in the stars. Its roots go back before written history. Nicholas Copernicus's groundbreaking work in 1543, on the other hand, was a key turning point in the scientific quest and changed the way we think about the universe. Over the next few hundred years, astronomy changed in amazing ways, hitting important milestones that changed the course of human history for good. In a constant effort to learn more about the universe and appreciate it more, China has become a leader in innovation by building the world's biggest and most impressive planetarium. This amazing piece of architecture not only shows how smart people are, but it also opens the door to the wonders of space. With its creative design, the planetarium shows off unique pieces that reflect the sun, moon, and stars in our solar system. When we look at this beautiful building, it reminds us of how curious we are and how determined we are to find out more about the vast space beyond our planet. As we set out on a trip to find out what this huge building is hiding, we learn more about the rich history of astronomy in China. China has been a major player in science for a long time. Its roots go back more than 5,000 years. The Chinese astrological calendar, which is known all over the world, has not only shaped the country's past but also helped Chinese farmers know when to plant and harvest crops. Today, China is still making progress in the field. Its seven successful space launches, the most recent of which was in 2022, are a good example of this. China has set its sights on even bigger goals, like building and launching its own space stations, even though the size of what it has already done is impressive. This firm pledge comes from the country's strong desire to win the race to be the best at astronomy in the world. So, the Shanghai Planetarium is a great example of this drive. It is both a striking statement to the rest of the world and a safe place for young people to learn about science and grow their interest in it. In this amazing project, China shows not only how good it is at technology, but also how committed it is to pushing the limits of human knowledge and creating a new generation of scientists who will continue to be curious about the universe. The Shanghai Planetarium, which used to be called the Shanghai Astronomy Museum, is a beacon of scientific wonder. It is in the Lingame area, which is close to Shanghai's busy central business area. This amazing building is only 45 minutes from the center of Shanghai and is the second of its kind in China. It is also one of the biggest and most technologically advanced planetariums in the world. The site covers an amazing 409,000 square feet and has many interesting features. The exhibition halls at the planetarium take visitors on a deep dive into the wonders of the universe, while the education and research center is a hub for scholarly study. The fact that it has an IMAX theater and an observatory with a 78-foot solar telescope makes it even more clear that it is the world's biggest place for studying astronomy. This architectural wonder is not only huge, but it also has state-of-the-art visual and interactive technology. So everyone who goes inside will have a fun and educational time. The Shanghai Planetarium can hold up to 6,000 people every day and is ready to excite and captivate people from all walks of life. Indiana Architects, the visionaries behind this ambitious project, have made it clear that they want to respect the rich history of Chinese astrology. Also, the planetarium is a place to show how China is still committed to space exploration and has a lot of promise in this area. The Shanghai Planetarium entices people to go on a journey of discovery with its eye-catching design and state-of-the-art facilities. It invites people to explore the wonders of the universe while celebrating China's great achievements and hopes for the future in the field of space research. Construction on the Shanghai Planetarium began in 2016 which is when this amazing project got its start. After years of careful planning and design, the doors will open to the public in July 2021. Indian Architects, a well-known company based in the United States, was responsible for the museum's beautiful design. The fact that they were chosen for the job because they won an architectural design competition in 2014 shows how smart and creative they are. Notably, the Rose Center for Earth and Space at the American Museum of Natural History in New York. The design of the Shanghai Planetarium shows both artistic creativity and scientific accuracy. It was inspired by the shape of the universe and the way that celestial things move. So, the structure of the planetarium doesn't have any right angles or straight lines. Instead, it has a fascinating set of overlapping curves that look like the orbits of planets in space. 
The complex is made up of many long stretches that come from the complex's wide, curved lines. This creates a play of long, flowing shapes that draw the eye. The museum's huge rooms are also a striking visual feature that makes you feel like you're in another world. Because of how it is suspended, and how big it is, this amazing piece of architecture makes people feel like they are up close and personal with the planet. With its unique design and expert execution, the Shanghai Planetarium promises to take tourists to a place where they can fully experience the awe-inspiring wonders of the universe and feel more connected to it. It has three different parts that look like different parts of the sky, the oculus, the reverse dome, and the sphere. These parts make up a beautiful piece of astronomy equipment that shows the sun, moon, and stars. A deep idea like this goes all the way back to the beginning of time and shows how much the constant movement of these cosmic forces affects the world we live in now. This amazing building also uses the sun's rays to show how the basic rules of astronomy work. By doing this, it makes a deep link between the modern museum and ancient architectural wonders that use similar methods, like the famous Greek pyramids at Giza and the beautiful Mayan temples at Chichen Itza. This elegant and unique design makes the museum more important and draws people in with its perfect mix of artistic skill and scientific knowledge. The oculus is a striking structure that stands above the main door to the museum and draws people's attention. This amazing piece of architecture, which hangs elegantly from the cantilever galleries, serves two purposes. First, it works as a clock, using the light from the sun to light up the floor below. Skillfully mirrored by the oculus, the bright beams of sunlight show how time and the seasons are always moving and changing. Also, the oculus is a place where people can study how the moon moves during important Chinese holidays and festivals that follow the lunar cycle. This clever use of astronomical readings makes the museum more culturally and scientifically important. It is an impressive 61 meters long and 36 meters wide, and it shows how form and function can work together perfectly. Over 2,000 tons of steel were used to build this engineering marvel, which shows how carefully it was planned and how creatively it was made. The inverted dome is a fascinating piece of architecture that sits on top of the center atrium, which is where all the galleries are set up. People going to the planetarium are led through a multi-story atrium that handles traffic and has a spiraling ramp that goes under the dome. This amazing building gives a breathtaking view of the day and night sky. It draws people's attention to the stars and planets and makes the virtual star shell in the planetarium more impressive. The dome can be reached by a glass walkway that leads to the north. I haven't been to the planetarium, but I'd love to hear about your visits in the comments. Subscribe to our channel Build Bright. Thank you for watching, and I hope we can talk more in the next film.